Hey, it's Gail with Bernina of Naperville, and thanks for joining us again this month for a session of our Vintage Boardwalk. You can see here, I got the quilt down off the wall so we can have a little look at the things that we're gonna be making this month. So we've got two soda bottles, we've got uh, three umbrellas, and we have some words of inspiration. Now, this month is super easy and that's good because it's the holidays and who has time to sit around stitching beach things when it's December, right? Well, let's go ahead and have a look at the things that you're gonna need and what we need to do to make these blocks. Okay, so this month's supplies are pretty simple. We're gonna use a medium weight tear away stabilizer again and um, Okay, so I'm incorporating some new fabric in this month only because this Petite Circus from Art Gallery, which is the little clowns and the little pennants, is just so cute, I couldn't help myself. So um, I've added uh, these. I'm not really using this month, but I just wanted to show you how cute they are. But I am gonna use these little pennants as the background for some of the words blocks that we're gonna do this month. So this is kind of the palette of the fabrics that we're using. And then um, we're gonna be using our book, our pattern. And in here, it starts on page 15 with the let your cares drift away, which is right there. And then there's also Life is a Beautiful Ride, and then the Umbrellas, and finally on page 20 are the little soda bottles. Now, in addition to the fabric that you're going to cut based on the dimensions in the pattern, and I also um, spell those out for you in the handout each month, don't forget about that, but you're also going to nip into your embellishment pack and the soda bottles are going to need this cola color sparkle and then this cherry cola sparkle and in, this is really important that this glitter comes with a protective piece on it so you just want to make sure that you peel that piece off of it before you use it there's also a vinyl piece in here in fact i think there's two vinyl pieces they're just stuck together and we're gonna use these. We're gonna use these for the umbrellas and we're gonna use this for the soda bottles. And basically, here it is. And what's nice is your kit, this should be nice and flat. So don't fold this or crease this or anything like that. But if you do, you're going to take an iron and heat up your ironing board, then put your vinyl down. And I use a clapper to put on top of it so that it will encourage it to be nice and flat. Now that we have these things, don't forget about expert tape, a little 505 spray, and then the thread that you think will look good on these projects. Don't let me tell you what colors to use. I'm gonna kind of go by, you know, traditional red and white straw for our soda. I'm gonna try to match some of the fabrics, but have fun with this. So, this is pretty easy and you're gonna do all of your words this way. So these words can fit in the medium hoop like you see right here, but um, the others you might wanna go to your larger hoop, your, your midi hoop. Um, but what I'm doing is uh, I've picked a dark blue that kind of matches my little pennant and then I picked a little red color and then I've got a gray color for the wawoosh. So that's all I'm doing. I've got my medium tearaway stabilizer in the hoop and I've sprayed the fabric down to hold it in the hoop. So I'm going to attach this and get ready to sew. And I'm going to engage the basting function because I want to kind of sew this background onto the hoop. then our first set of letters. Now, as a reminder, when you're doing letters and you have like a seven series or a five series embroidery, you may want to use the yellow high tension bobbin case. But here on my 880 crystal edition, I haven't really made any adjustments to the bobbin other than threading it for embroidery.
All right, so our first one is complete and now it's time to just stitch out the next two. I'm ready to stitch Life is a Beautiful Ride and I'm using the large oval and I've also made sure that, I mean, this is big enough that I was able to hoop everything in the hoop, so I don't need to do the basting line this time. However, notice how the little pennants are stitch, are oriented this way. Well, I had to rotate my design 180 degrees so our pennants aren't stitching upside down. <laughs> All right, let's, let's give this a whirl. I'm gonna be stitching Life is a Ride in a gray color, and then Beautiful is gonna be red, and then I've got a little swirl. So look at how beautiful no pun intended, right? <laughs> this stitches out. I really need you to look at the embroidery quality on these words. I think it looks great. So there's one more to go. And, uh, and yeah, then I promise we'll do soda bottles. Well, there's our cute little soda bottle. And uh, these little registration lines here are going to be stitched out to help find the center of the design when you square it up and everything. But I was able to fit our background fabric in the hoop, but I still think I want to do a little bit of a basting stitch. So I'm ready to stitch this out. So I'm going to hit my little stitch out button. I'm going to add my basting stitch and that's what I'm going to stitch first. So this is going to stitch out in white. We don't really need to see this. I just want it to hold the fabric nicely onto my material. Naturally, the first color of the soda bottle is the straw and it's the white part of the straw. All right, so I'm just going to go through the cues for this and um, come back when it's time to put our soda glitter material in there and also our vinyl. Okay, now that this is finished, it's time to do a tack down stitch for our cherry cola here. So I've got red thread in the machine, which I think will match this pretty well. So I'm gonna go ahead and stitch the cherry cola outline stitch down on the machine. So now I just need to cover this piece with the shimmer and remember I've removed that extra film that comes on it and I'm going to just gently use my expert tape to hold this into place so it doesn't wiggle around on me while this outline stitch stitches down. Now that this is done, I can remove my tape and I'm gonna trim using my Karen K. Buckley scissors really, really close to the edge here. Just like that. Now the next color is going to be the placement stitch for the vinyl. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this in a gray. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna take my vinyl and I'm gonna gently place that into position. I'm gonna use the tape to hold it down so it doesn't wiggle around on me. And then I'm gonna go ahead and stitch. and trim this vinyl really close to the stitching line. So we're gonna just change the thread to white, and then after I trim this, we're gonna stitch that last bit in white, and then we'll just make our other bottle just like this one, only we're gonna use the cola glitter fabric instead of this cherry cola glitter. All trimmed, and now we just do those final registration marks. Okay, so I dig this. So I'm gonna put this one aside and we're gonna stitch out our cola one. And then we have another little trick for stitching out the umbrellas. Okay, so here's our umbrella. And the umbrella is an embroidery design where it's gonna do the stem. It's gonna do a little wedgie section here. Then it's going to do another section and then the final stitch is going to sew down vinyl so that the umbrella has a vinyl covering. So this is kind of cool because you're going to see vinyl on top of a fancy fill stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the handle of the umbrella and then just like I, you know, I really do like to use this basting stitch for a lot of these, even though my um, fabric is pretty much fitting in the hoop down here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the little basting stitch. And now it's time to do the stem. The stem, the handle. Now, there, you're gonna make three of these umbrellas and it's up to you if you wanna vary the colors of the umbrella that you're using. I'm gonna use the three different backgrounds, but I'm gonna do each umbrella exactly the same. So it's gonna be a red and white umbrella on different backgrounds each time. Now it's time to lay down the vinyl. This is um, the last color on here. And we're just gonna put a little bit of vinyl right down in there. And of course I like using this tape to hold it in place so it doesn't wiggle around when it's stitching. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna put a little bit of it up here and a little bit of it over here. There we go. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and use my red thread that I just stitched this bit down to stitch down the vinyl. So all that's left is for me to take this um, tape off and trim the vinyl really, really close to the edge of the umbrella. And then I'm gonna make the other two and uh, this month's project is done. What do you think? They're pretty easy, right? And you know, if you're joining us now and you feel like it's way too late to join, we still have kits available, so don't hesitate to sign up. Even if we don't have the fabric kits anymore, we still have the patterns and the embellishment kits, and you can add your own fabrics. This is perfect for a scrap quilt or just some of those favorite fat quarters that you've picked out. And do you like our little petite circus stuff that I added this month? I love it. I think it's totally cute. But if you want to see more videos just like this one, don't forget to check out our Bernina of Naperville YouTube channel. It's easy. It's youtube.com slash Bernina of Naperville. And there you can like, comment, and subscribe. And then have a happy holiday, all of those things. And we'll meet you back here in January. And we're going to make a hot dog stand.
and that one's gonna be super cute. But before you get super duper excited, don't forget that some of the embellishment on the hot dog stand is gonna be done in the last class. So keep that in mind. All right, well, I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.